Today I am watching Angel Season 1, Episode 11, Episode 10. We saw Wesley made an appearance. I'm very curious to see if he will be added into this episode, what that looks like. Um, please no spoilers, but sadly Doyle is no longer in the show. So yeah, I'm very curious to see who will replace that role, what that'll look like. We found out that Cordelia now has the visions that Doyle was getting and she is now Angel's connection to the powers that be. So yeah, I'm very curious to see where her character is going to go with that. I'm really enjoying the series so far so thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows think i should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows i watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content <gasps> oh that's terrifying Oh, God. It's been a while since we've seen just a vampire, other than Angel, obviously. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> or it is Angel! Are you freaking kidding me? What? No. Oh, my gosh, it was just a dream. Okay, the theme song's growing on me now. I still don't love it, but I'm get I'm getting there. Oh, Wesley's in the credits. I didn't watch the last one. All right, I guess we got Wesley now. I think it's about to speak. I'm glad he's not in leather this time. Probably best. Wesley just left. Angel seems especially broody this morning. You're not usually with the bags. I'll do this now. Hey! Look! I'm fine, Cordelia, alright? No, he's grumpy, and for probably very good reason, considering the last few episodes. Oh... Ah, yeah, the sun is still there! Hate it when you forget that you can't go out in the sun. That's all. That's not all. To have you. I wish Kate was the series regular instead of Wesley. Recognizes that mark? It's my guess. Detective. He's like, how do I reveal without revealing that I could possibly help? Duties as watcher in Sunnydale. I did extensive research, specifically on Angel. He has his own folder. Jealous custom to sign his victims by carving a Christian cross into their left cheek. How long ago? What? I don't care how many files you have on all the horrible things that he did back in the powdered wig days. Wesley thinks it's Angel? And he is my friend and nothing- Yeah, oh my gosh. That's why you recognized it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, Angel. But it wasn't him. Confidence inspiring denial I was looking for. But he hasn't been doing it recently. Having dreams. Dreams? Or has he? Okay, so you've been having nightmares. It doesn't mean you- They're not nightmares. No, 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 no! Step out the front door and his PJs would burst into flames. Unless it were happening in the pre-dawn hours. I don't like this. I don't like that this is a possibility. Oh, no, 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 no. Angel, are you sleepwalking? Ellie life, I get to make the coffee and chain the boss to the bed. Gotta join a union. Cordelia, I think that's... Spicy, spicy workplace. Yeah, is it Angel? Is he just dreaming it? So bizarre. Oh my gosh. It's terrifying that he used to do it. <laughs> and that thimble is so god horrifying. Cheese and crackers. No, no, Angel. We can't do Angel bad again. Oh man. Ricky. We made it. Great news, sports fans. There's been another killing. That's not great news, but it means Angel's off the hook. First kill. He trained somebody? Oh, Angel. Who will be sitting down to dinner now? Ah, feast. Excellent. When they invite you in, savor it, Pen. This is a terrifying mentorship. Family blood is always the sweetest. Oh, that's horrible. And it said Jeremy Renner in the intro. Yes, yeah, so I'm recognizing him now. Yeah, that's crazy. There's definitely been some, like, unexpected guest stars. Oh, no.
no, 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 Angel, you've created a monster! That's spiked hair, though. Such early 2000s. My apologies. That's okay, I don't, I don't know what that meant. She's a good cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not that the brooding man of mystery thing isn't working for you. I mean, it is a lot. She flirting with him? What is he going to say? Oh my gosh. I mean, we know what the truth is, but how are you going to explain it? Some of your more inconsiderate serial killers often fail to leave us any clues. And now she's playing with a cross necklace? Oh no, 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 no. Just murdered his whole family. Oh my gosh. Where did you get that? How could you possibly- Do you trust me? I don't understand. Are you protecting a source? That's one way to put it, I guess. He'll kill him just like he did these others. Unless you use every resource this department has to make sure he's not successful this time. He killed his family, so he was recreating that night and killing off every member of his family, which is horrible. Hey, dude. Are you all up to buy beer? Oh, God. Terrifying. Terrifying! Oh! Caught mid-vampire! Whoa, 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 whoa! Just flew into that window! The police are like, what the frick did we just see? And what's she gonna do when he gets back up? No, don't go over! No, 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 no! He's not gonna have a pulse because he's dead already! Oh no! Ah! Romani. What's in Romani? Gypsies. Oh, that's where his soul. Yeah. Oh man. Which he obviously doesn't know about. Yeah. Why are you here? To kill you. Oh! What? What? Go, Kate. Get out of here. Kate, go. Yeah, I'm very curious. If Kate saw his vampire face. <laughs> well, she sees it now. I think. Yeah, that was pretty close. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, she definitely saw. Frick, frick, frick. Well, she knows angels. Maybe she doesn't know a vampire, but she knows something's up now. Cheese and rice. Puncture wounds. The victims have all been drained of their blood, haven't they? Very vampire -y, yes. No. I don't believe you. I know you don't. Even after what you saw, you won't let yourself, which is why you- Yeah, Kate doesn't believe in vampires. Oh! Because there are some things in this world you're just not ready to face. Vampires would be one of them, for sure. Cheese and rice. I hope Kate can- uh, I hope she knows Angel well enough at this point that- He's there to help, you know, and yes, he's a vampire, but that's a lot to process, obviously. Thanks, Chris. So you think this guy's a copycat and a history buff? Something like that. Or a very old vampire, you know. The detective I spoke with was very enthusiastic for the truly human touch. She said... Angel didn't share the sketch with Cordelia? Come on. I'm trying to remember her name. But she knows. Abs Pupil Boy. You realize you'll never make it to the exit before... <laughs> She's like, I don't need to make it to the exit. Yeah, I just need to open a window. Mistake. It's like eight in the morning. <laughs> That's not what she meant. <laughs> Come on, Cordelia. An artist. A bold reinterpreter of the form. Try a cheesy hack. Well, that's, you know, one way to put it, for sure. It's pathetic and cliched. You probably got a killer shrine on your wall. News clippings, magazines. Yes, he definitely does. Oh, you are so prosaic. Nothing on the street. Wesley! Come on, man! Frickin' Wesley! So you believe me? Yes, I believe you. Good, because he's planning something I'm too. jealous. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now she knows the bad angel, no! I make up for the past, Kate. I know that. No, you can't. In fact, all of this, what's happening now, is really because of you. Oh, come on. Yeah, but it was a long time ago. Son of a bitch's heart. And when that happens, I suggest you don't be there. Because the next time we meet, I'll do the same to you. What? Come on! Oh, man! She realizes that if Angel wanted to kill her, he probably could have a hundred times by now. And he's trying to help. He 
He's going to the school. Oh no, that's horrible. Like along the bus route. He's finally changing his act. In the worst possible way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder if Kate and Angel will ever like work together again. She's very, I mean, it would be a lot to process. You'd find out this horrible, horrible past about him. Is she gonna kill her first vampire? Oh, frick. Oh, Kate. All that research. Well, you could have. Nah, too original. Oh, holy water in the pocket. Nice one. But I've come to realize something. It's you. Oh! Yeah, this is his dad in some weird warped sense. Yeah. He's like, I've been really mad at you this whole time. You're grounded. <laughs> Might be past that, but I like where he's going. What's this? She did say she was gonna kill him. Oh, no, 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 no. They know the difference. You're not angelous anymore. Sometimes they change back. If the day ever comes that I- Oh, I'll kill you dead. That's good, you know, at least she's, you know, honest about it, yeah. What are friends for? Yeah, it's been interesting to see these two get a closer relationship now that Doyle's gone, obviously. So that was my first time watching Angel, season one, episode 11. We saw Angel was struggling at the start of the episode. Definitely felt like he was going through some things, which I feel like is totally fair and to be expected considering everything that's happened in the past few episodes and then having to face his past and his former crimes I don't think will improve his mood. I feel like he was definitely still struggling at the end of the episode or he's trying to process you know there will always be this vampire part of him and Cordelia is trying to reassure him saying like we all have parts of ourselves that we are not proud of and that we don't like and the fact that you know he's now this person and is trying to be good you know most of the times. I don't know if that was reassuring to Angel. I feel like he's got literally his own demons that he's struggling with. So it was nice to see Cordelia try and offer that, you know, friendship and try and offer that support and say like, hey, these visions I'm getting are for Angel. They're not for Angelus. So yes, you definitely did some horrible, horrible things in your past. And it's obviously painful to have them brought back up again. And especially to see that in a living person as this guy that he had sired was now in LA and still doing all of the things that him and Angel had done 200 years ago. So I feel like that was difficult for him to be faced with his past in such a literal sense. It wasn't just a photo of something that had happened. It was somebody walking around still killing people the way that Angel showed him to. And I feel like he probably felt a lot of guilt for that as he brought this person into the world and played a role in this person going out into the world and killing other people. So I'm sure that was weighing very heavily on Angel's mind. We heard Angel mention that he got stuck in Romania. And that's why he didn't end up meeting this guy in Italy and, you know, with the gypsies and the curse and everything but I don't know if this guy knew that that's meant his soul had been reinstated obviously we saw Angel was on the side of trying to protect the people and not hurt them so maybe he figured out something was off I don't know but yeah it's definitely interesting we don't know how many people Angel has sired and to have one of them come back and in such a literal way and to be you know causing this chaos in town it sounds like he'd been there you know in LA at least a few times before probably more and obviously we saw that have a huge effect on Angel and Kate's relationship I'm very worried about what it's gonna look like going forward. Please no spoilers. But Kate definitely knows and believes in vampires now, which is probably be a lot to process. And the fact that she knows about Angel is a vampire. And I'm sure, you know, she's like, yeah, he only comes at night. And like the things are starting to make sense. Like all of his mysterious behavior, I feel like she now has an explanation for. And he didn't come right out and say it. He was just like, you know this, like you know what's happening. And we see her start to do more research and learn about it. Kate had that stake with her when she goes to the police precinct. She knows that you have to invite them in now. So she's definitely learning and I feel like it's making her more terrified because I feel like she already had a long list of monsters on her list and now she has to add vampires to it. And I do hope that she can get to a place where she realizes that Angel is trying to help. Yes, he did horrible things in his past. Present day Angel is trying to do good and is trying to help and given their past working relationship, I hope they can get back to that. I don't know if that's ever possible. I really would hate to see this be 
what tears them apart because they do work well together. They both have resources, the other one doesn't. So they both have the same goal of, you know, helping people and trying to stop crime. So it would be heartbreaking to see this be the end of it. I have no idea. I hope Kate's in the next episode and we can kind of pick up and see where this is going to go. Maybe she needs some time to process. Like I said, it would be a lot to figure out that A, there is just vampires and that this person that you've been working with and talking to for months now, I don't know the exact timeline, but for a little while is actually a vampire. I understand why Kate would be cautious, definitely, but I hope she can see in Angel's past behavior that he's there to help and doesn't want to hurt her. And even even with this, he shows up and is helping her fight. I really like Kate's character. So like I said, I hope something can get worked out. Who knows? I hope she doesn't cut off Angel completely and never talks to him again. I have no idea. We hadn't had a Kate-focused episode in a while. Obviously, we've been focusing with Doyle and Buffy visiting and all these other things. So to now have, you know, this added on to Angel's list as well. Doyle's gone. If his relationship with Kate is now falling apart, I think Angel liked having that person to go to, even though she wasn't a vampire, obviously. But I feel like it was someone who could help him in ways that he couldn't and had access to, you know, running license plates and doing all of those kinds of things that Cordelia doesn't and Wesley, you know, it was very book smart, but doesn't have access to that. So yeah, I feel like this was somebody he viewed as they could work together. We saw Wesley's name in the opening credits for this episode. So I feel like he's here to replace Doyle. I don't know if it'll just be for the season. I don't know if it'll be for the rest of the show. I have no idea. Um, please no spoilers, but yeah, I don't, I'm not just a big fan of Wesley and he does have skills. It just feels like he's a second hand Giles and he's definitely you know focuses on the book smart and stuff like that and at least he wasn't wearing leather in this episode but he does walk in the door and isn't paying attention and that's you know he gets caught up in this and ends up being you know held hostage temporarily and I just feel like he always needs to be rescued and but maybe you know as time goes on he'll get a little bit more street smart and he'll get a little bit more in tune with what's happening even as we've seen Cordelia's character you know being surrounded by these supernatural things she's has an eye out for it now and she's starting to suspect it she's like oh why why do you have this jacket? You know, it's the middle of the day and it's super nice out. Why are you, you know, she's starting to pick up on all the things. She's like, oh, you're just using me for information. So hopefully Wesley can get to a point like that. Like I said, I wish Kate had been added into the main cast instead of Wesley, but obviously given everything that happened in this episode with her and Angel, who knows, maybe she won't be in the next five, six episodes. I have no idea, but yeah, it's very curious to see. And obviously Wesley knows that Angel's a vampire and has a whole folder on him. And the fact that he thought that Angel was still out killing and even Cordelia says like if you're the one doing this I will be the first one to you know take you out basically she's like what are friends for and this whole sleepwalking possibility that was interesting we know Buffy is connected to her dreams and now we know that Angel is connected to those that he sires through his dreams and that's what he was getting you know these visions and thought it was him I'm very glad it wasn't I don't know where that storyline would have gone if we found out that Angel was in fact killing these people but the sleepwalking concept was very interesting and I wasn't expecting that. We've seen a few sleep-focused episodes between Buffy and Angel. So yeah, I was very curious to see where that was going to go, if that was even possible. I thought Jeremy Renner was great as a guest star. I've definitely seen him in some Marvel movies, so I recognized him. And when his name came up in the credits, I was like, okay, I'm very curious to see who you will be playing. And yeah, it makes me wonder who else Angel has sired, who else is out there, what that looks like, if who else is just going to show up at the doorstep one day. And the fact that this guy had been getting away with it for 200 years and obviously traveling all over and recreating this horrible night where he basically massacred his whole family and Angel was there and you know he's like oh like you know this is the best way to do it it was just this horrible mentorship and it's hard to think that Angel was ever like that I know he was for a long time but it's just not the Angel we know now so yeah that was a bit hard to watch Cordelia did get a vision in this episode we didn't get to see what it was about she just hands the note to Angel at the end of the episode so we've slowly been seeing her get more and more. It sounds like she's learning a little bit more on how to communicate them. I don't know what drawing or whatever was on that piece of paper, but it definitely is interesting to have her be the one with these visions now. Overall, I enjoyed the episode. I'm very worried to see what the future of Kate and Angel's relationship will look like in future episodes. I hope they can find some 
working compromise. I don't know what that would be like, but yeah, I think they are really stronger together than they are apart. And they, like I said, they have resources the other one doesn't. So hopefully they can work something out. I definitely understand Kate being skeptical and wanting to keep a distance. So yeah, we will see what happens across the next few episodes. And now that Wesley is added into the main cast, I don't know where his character is going to go, what that storyline is going to look like. I hope he can become more familiar with some of the street smart side of this business and as well as the book smart so he doesn't always get into trouble. But yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be in this and I still don't really know how he quite fits in here. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I'm glad he's not in leather this time. Hate it when you forget that you can't go out in the sun. Spicy, spicy workplace. This is a terrifying mentorship. Oh, caught mid-vampire! He's not gonna have a pulse because he's dead already! She's like, I don't need to make it to the exit. Yeah, I just need to open a window. Oh, holy water in the pocket! Nice one! He's like, I've been really mad at you this whole time.